Judgment day for an 86 year old man who admits he tried to kill his wife with a hammer to end her suffering from Alzheimer's. Our Nicole Grigg was in the courtroom as the sentence was handed down. Nicole. Deborah, well, there were tears in the courtroom today as the judge called this one of her most painful and difficult cases. She called it a modern American tragedy, saying society was the one who failed. A man so in love with his wife, he said he attacked her with a hammer to take her out of her misery from the life she was trapped in of not remembering. At 86 years old, Andrew Monticella had to wear headphones to even hear the judge today, still having a hard time understanding. Is there anything you wish to say, Mr. No, Your Honor. His daughter spoke to the judge, asking for her mercy. Please let him have a chance to go home to the house that they built together. For mom to see one last time. His wife, Joy, of more than six decades, survived the attack inside their Miami Township home. Every time I talk to dad, it's always the same thing. Take care of your mother. Judge McGee told Monticello that she truly believes he was trying to stop Joy's suffering, but with no help from anyone to care for her, the judge says the attack falls at the hands of so many. The question becomes what judgment is sufficient for society? for a society that could not be bothered to step in when it should have. Monticello will now be taken to jail. He was sentenced to three years, but he has the possibility to be released in one year. As for fines, Judge McGee said to save that money to care for his wife. And Judge McGee said his adult children and grandchildren should have stepped in, and she hopes this can be a message to leaders, health care providers, families, even churches, to discuss end-of-life planning before it gets too late. Reporting live in the studio, Nicole Grigg, ABC 22 News.